Welcome to the Financial Markets Examiner YouTube channel where you learn about Forex, Crypto and the Stock Market. Today we'll learn about dividends in stocks and how it works to get your right in materials as we learn. What are dividend stocks? Dividend stocks are stocks that distribute a portion of the company's earnings to investors on a regular basis. Most American dividend stocks pay investors a set of amounts each quarter and the top ones increase their payouts over time. So investors can build an annuity like cash stream. Investors can also choose to reinvest dividends if they don't need a stream of income. So I'll tell you more about dividends and how they work. Companies that pay dividends tend to be well established. So dividend stocks may also add some sellability to your portfolio. That's one reason they are included in our list of low risk investments. How dividend stocks work? There are two main ways to invest in dividend stocks through mutual funds such as index funds or exchange traded funds that hold dividend stocks or by purchasing individual dividend stocks. Dividends ETFs or index funds offer investors access to the selection of dividend stocks within a single investment. That means that with just one transaction, you can own a portfolio of dividend stocks. The fund will then pay all dividends to your regular basis, which you can then take as you come or reinvest. Dividend funds offer the benefit of instant diversification. If one stock held by the fund's court or suspend those dividends, you can still rely on income from the others, whether it's through dividend stocks or dividend funds. Reinvesting those dividends can greatly enhance your return on investment. Dividends typically increase the return of a stock or dividend fund by a few percentage points. For example, historically, the total annual return which includes dividends of the S&P 500 has been on average about 2% point higher than the index annual change in value. So the difference can really add up. Using an investment calculator, we can see that a $5,000 investment that grows at 6% annually for 20 years could grow over $16,000. Bump that up to 8% growth to include dividends and that $5,000 and grow to over $24,000. In general, a good rule of thumb is to invest the bulk of your portfolio in index fund. So for this reason, investing in individual dividend stocks directly adds benefit, although it requires more work on part of the investor in form of research into each stock to ensure it fits your overall portfolio. Investors who choose individual dividend stocks are able to build a custom portfolio that may offer a higher yield than a dividend fund. Expenses can also be lower with dividend stocks as ETFs and index funds charge an annual fee called an expense ratio to investors. How to invest in dividend stocks? Building a portfolio of individual dividend stocks takes time and effort. But for many investors, it's worth it. I'll tell you how to buy a dividend stock. One, find a dividend paying stock. You can screen for stocks and pay dividend on many financial staff as well as on your online broker website. We've also included a list of high dividend stocks. One, find a dividend paying stock. You can screen for stocks that pay dividends on many financial staff, as well as on your online broker website. Two, evaluate the stock. To look under the hood of high dividend stocks, start by comparing the dividend yields among its peers. If a company's dividend yields is much higher than that of similar companies, it could be a red flag. At the very least, it's worth additional research into the company and the safety of the dividend. Then look at the stock payout ratio, which tells you how much of the company's income is going towards dividend. A payout ratio that is too high, generally above 80%, although it can vary by industry, means the company is putting a large percentage of its income into paying dividends. In some cases, dividend ratios can top 100%, meaning the company may be going into debt or pay out dividends. Three, decide how much stock you want to buy. You need diversification if you're buying individual stocks, so you need to determine what percent of your portfolio goes into each stock. For example, you're buying 20 stocks, you could put 5% of your portfolio in each. However, if a stock is riskier, you might want to buy less of it and put more of your money towards safer choices. If you're going to reinvest your dividends, you need to recalculate your cost basis, the amount you originally paid to purchase the stock. The number one rule consideration in buying a dividend stock is the safety of its dividends. Dividend yields over 4% should be carefully scrutinized. 
Those over 10% trend fairly into risk territory. Among other things, a two high dividends you can indicate the payout is unsustainable or that investors are selling the stocks, driving down its share price and increasing the dividend yield as a result. Another thing to keep in mind is that dividends in taxable brokerage accounts cause taxes to be realized in the year the dividends occur. Unlike stocks that do not pay dividends, those taxation primary or cost where the stock is sold. For investors with taxable accounts and in high income brackets, dividend stocks might not be as tax efficient as other options. Kindly check this channel for more educational topics in the financial world. With this, we've come to the end of the video for today. Remember, this video is not for financial advice, but for educational purposes only. Kindly subscribe, share, and like after watching. Thank you.